Your Excellencies and esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zsófia Kraus, the moderator of today's event. To open the program and to welcome the guests, allow me to invite to the floor Ambassador Dr. Janos Hovári, the Executive Director of the Representation Office of the Turkey Council in Hungary, to deliver his speech on nomadism, hunting, and nature in the Turkic world. Zsófia, thank you very much. Uh, dear Excellency, the Ambassador of Azerbaijan, dear colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am very honored being here and address you about the Turkic world and the nature issues in the Turkic world and how this huge world is able to cope with the challenges of the 21st century. I am representing the Turkey Council. You could see the Turkey Council logo. Uh, that's uh, this side. The Turkey Council is an intergovernmental cooperation. It was established in 2009. And uh, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan are members of that kind of intergovernmental cooperation. And this intergovernmental cooperation has a secretary general in Istanbul, which is trying to promote the cooperation among the member states. Hungary, as an observer state in that cooperation for the year of 2018, and I am a privileged person to be the ambassador of the Turkey Council in Budapest. And I am working my colleagues from various Turkey countries together in Budapest in order to promote the relations that bringing these nations uh, nearer to other. That the Turkey Council represents a huge area, and the Turkey Council represents around 180 million people. That means a huge community, huge market, huge potential. And it's a huge word where the name of the Hungarian traditionally sounds well. The Turkey Council works together with our great friend in the Turksoy. You could see the logo of the Turksoy, and I, our, our colleagues for the Turksoy are together with us. That's, uh, we should praise them, and they are helping the various programs in Hungary. The Turksoy, you could call the Turksoy as a Turkic UNESCO that the Turksoy is a cooperation from 1993 among the Turkic-speaking nation minorities. They are all around the world, from the Chuvashis to the Pacific Ocean, I mean from the Volga to the Pacific Ocean, from the Black Sea region to inside in Afghanistan. They are, so the Turkic community is around more than 300 million. It is a huge area, and we are trying to be in the Kasanyi and Tatas together with the Uzbeks and the South Anatolian Turks with, the, with the, our friends from Tuva, is a northern part of Siberia. That's, it is a very important cooperation. But you could, you could ask me, Ambassador, why you are here? Why, why the Turkey Council is here? First of all, the first answer, we were invited. Why we were invited? Because the organizer of the expo wanted to show the 
huge geographical areas from around the world. Of course, that kind of, that kind of exhibition, Africa is a main guess because hunting is connected to Africa and uh, nat natural resources of Africa should be protected. So there are some elements from North Africa and here are the Central, a Central Europeans which we had uh, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Slovakia, Poland, we, are, uh, we had the same composition and of course it is necessary to show up the huge Turkic world from the Black Sea region to the Pacific region and to talk about what is going on or, or, uh, there. This yurta, the Hungarians saying yurta, the Turks are saying jurt, it represents, it is a symbol of the life of the steppe, which is a place for living and you, you will see at the end of our program that when we started, our friends from Nadudvar could make this, this, this jurt within 30 minutes. They will, they will, we should give the stage to the next, uh, uh, next colleagues, to the Turks, and uh, our friends from Nadudvar have 20 minutes to take it out, and I think it will be a Guinness record. I think that our world, the Turkic world, are to the different, that the Turkic world has a different landscape. The steppe is well known, that's the huge area of the steppe. It was a, it was a landscape of the Hungarian history for a long time. Uh, before we came into the Carpathian Basin. But you should know that in the Turk world there are huge forests. In Kyrgyzstan, for example, beautiful trees and uh, a lot of forest. And in Siberia, there are living many Turks. They are living in the area where forests are everywhere. And there are Turks and Uralic minorities who are living in the tundra area. I think that, uh, that uh, we are delighted to be here because it, uh, our stand in this beautiful place gives us an opportunity that uh, to have an introduction at our stand and our programs into the Turkic world in a certain aspects. The reading the Turkic world on behalf of the biodiversity, on behalf of the natural protection, and of course, on behalf of the hunting, but the role of the hunting to protect the animals that uh, to control what is going on in the country with the uh, wild animals. This opportunity was excellent for us because we could invite our friends. Our friends, ambassadors, diplomats, the new Azerbaijani ambassador is together with us. We could invite friends who were coming uh, from uh, different Turkic countries. And of course, we could invite our friends who in Hungary are interested in what in the Turkic world is going on. And those who are committed to the values of the Turkic world. The values of the Turkic world in the 21st century is a very complicated issue. You know it well, the huge industrialization started to change all the countries. But the Turkic world should deal with its own heritage. This heritage is going back to the nomadism. 
The nomadism was a significant element of their life, not only the ancient and medieval times, the nomadism survived in the certain areas until the 20th century. The Soviets were in Central Asia who destroyed the nomadic tradition and changed the landscape of Central Asia and made a lot of mistakes and it is our task to uh, remake it and to make corrections in a very complicated period when we should cope with the drought that water needed in certain areas and uh, in the period of a climate change which has obviously negative impact in all Central Asia. The nomadism is a is a interesting word. We Hungarians, we like this word nomad, and uh, the certain way when I was young, we called each other ideologically, culturally, uh, új nomadok, new nomads, neo nomads, which means uh, we have a certain new kind of uh, perception of, of the word, but with the transition. That if you see in any important books, and you uh, start to read about the nomadism, good light, a nomad is a person with no settled home, moving from place to place as a way of obtaining food, finding pasture through livestock, or otherwise making a living. The nomadism life, it is a not easy. It is a struggle surviving the winter, surviving uh, summer, there's a high line, but the nomads uh, accustomed to this uh, tradition. The nomad, as you will be surprised, is, is a Greek word. It is interesting one, even the nomadism is originating for the Greek culture. The nomas, that is a word form, means roaming or, or uh, finding a pasture land. It is the, it is the nomads, it is a, and, the, and the nomad, this word nomad is coming from the nomos. That the, uh, the of course the nomads, which were well known even to the ancient Greeks, they could see that the nomadic life is about surviving the nature, protect the nature, not destroying the nature, because they needed the trees and they needed the animals, that's the, the, the deers and other animals after 20 years, and they, were, they, they knew it, that they, 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 they should protect the environment and the nature, and of course, they were uh, great uh, warriors because they, their life was a fight against the uh, neighbors. We know it well. The nomadism is not a peaceful cooperation, but sometimes they could agree. And, uh, and of course, uh, they connected to the transhumans. They had to move and they went for the various regions uh, uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the steppe, uh, and uh, any, any so-called nomadic region. As I see, my time is over, and uh, I would like to welcome everybody again, and uh, I will give the floor to Zofia. Zofia, please.